In today's video, I'm going to show you a vegan friendly pasta sauce recipe, and it's super easy and super simple, and it's designed for the athlete on the go. So if that's you, keep on watching, let's get into the kitchen and whip this up. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alexa, sports dietitian and nutrition coach, and like I said today, I'm going to show you a vegan friendly pasta sauce. But before we get into today's recipe, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay in the loop with all of the videos that I release. So the reality is that a lot of individuals are not eating enough plant-based foods. Now, you don't have to be vegan to be a high-level athlete, okay? Despite the documentaries out there, you don't have to be vegan to be healthy, okay? I myself am still a meat eater, but I still like to diversify my diet and eat a variety of foods, including plant-based foods. And one of the best ways to do this is by eating legumes, okay? They're a nutrition powerhouse and something that I want you to eat more of. And that's the purpose of today's video. It's to show you a different recipe. You can mix things up and add more vegan-friendly plant-based foods in your diet that's gonna be healthy for you in the long run to diversify, like I mentioned. So I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. It's super, super simple, okay? I've designed it with the intent of making it super easy so that you don't have to, you know, do all this prep for it. It's such an easy way to just do some bulk meal prep that's also very, very affordable for yourself. So I'm sure you're gonna love this. So let's show you the ingredients and show you how to create this. Okay, so here you can see the baseline ingredients of this recipe, super, super simple. Obviously we've got some extra virgin olive oil, which we'll be using for the cooking process. We've obviously got one onion, some pasta sauce. Now this is only where people can get divided because they're like, oh, you can make your own pasta sauce. Yes, 100%, sometimes I do. But sometimes you just need something simple and easy that you can go and create on the go. And one of these ones, especially if you look at the back and try and find the best option, it's gonna be good. I went with one that has a bit of onion and garlic and all that seasonings inside, so just save myself some of the prep time. But you can use just a baseline pasta sauce, a passata or whatever it may be, and add your own spices as you go. You'll notice there is no garlic here today. That's for that reason, but you can obviously add more garlic if that's what you enjoy. And then we've got the two tins of legumes. Okay, I'm going with kidney beans and black beans because they work well with a pasta sauce, I believe. And also I wanted to diversify and make it a bit more interesting rather than just black beans or just kidney beans. But you can choose whatever you want. You can do the four bean mix, you can add in chickpeas if you want to, you can make it your own variety. Me personally, I've tried chickpeas in the past. I didn't really enjoy it with a pasta sauce kind of combination, but these ones I quite enjoy. So you do kind of what you want to do. But yeah, these are the baseline ingredients. You've got your legumes, you've got your pasta sauce, you've got onions, which is kind of an optional, but I like a little bit of extra vegetables in my in my meals and it's gonna help with the fiber content as well. And obviously we've got some extra virgin olive oil, one of the best oils you can use. So let's show you exactly how to create this, but as you can see, it's very, very simple. Okay, so the first step is we've got to dice our onion. Okay, very, very simple. I'll show you like the, the technique that I use. Okay, get rid of that bulb at the end. You wanna make sure you don't cut into this too much because that's when it starts bleeding and that's when you start crying and then it's horrible. And the cooking experience is, in my opinion, ruined, okay? So you just put it in half there and just peel the onion. Very simple stuff. As you can see on the side, we've got the two tins and the, and the strainer. So that's for that. When we're gonna, in a second, we're gonna be draining that. I'm not gonna obviously show you that because that's, that's no point. You know, I'm sure you know how to drain a tin of legumes, but yeah, it could be draining and rinsing them out very nicely. So you want to rinse it out because you want to get rid of some of the, the salt that's in there as well. But also if you're a bit sensitive when it comes to your stomach, you want to rinse that out because all of the, the FODMAPs, all that things that causes issues with things like IBS is leached into the water. So you get rid of the water and rinse it out nicely, it removes a lot of that. Okay, so for this next step, very simple. Obviously you take care, like I'm not a I'm not a chef or anything, so I'm just gonna do it my way and what best way I can do it, but always just watch your fingers, use a sharp knife, obviously, because that's safer. Okay, so you just wanna make slits. You can do it as thin or whatever you want. You can do it more chunky, doesn't really matter. You just wanna kinda of go down like this. And then you wanna hold it like that, split it down to like that way, and then just go to the top and angle it down. just go like that, okay? Nice and easy. And you get to the end, don't wanna get rid of this, just kinda of chop it. Okay, so that's one half done. And then do the same for the next one. I'm not gonna show you this because you've already seen it, so let's get into the next step and show you what's done. Okay, so we're here at the stove top. Now it's very, very simple for this step. 
we put in one tablespoon roughly, or you know, you can put more if you want, one tablespoon of the extra virgin olive oil. We start, you know, we heat it up, obviously, heat it up to about medium heat. We've got our drained legumes here, okay, our drained beans, one chopped onion, and our tin of pasta sauce. So obviously the next step is very, very self-explanatory, but we're gonna be you know, browning and cooking the onions first. Then we're gonna throw in the pasta sauce and let it simmer and kind of thicken up a bit and throw in the legumes and let that simmer from then onwards as well. So that's kind of the main steps, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly how it goes, but it's very, very simple as you can see. So if you're someone that's really strapped for time, they want to introduce more plant-based foods, this could be a great way to do it. Now you can couple this with like actual pasta because it is a pasta sauce, or you can eat it just as it is. Okay, today I'm not going to be cooking any pasta because it's just not on my menu today. Okay, it's not saying what I want to eat today, but I'm just going to be showing the pasta sauce because I like to eat it just by itself anyway. So it's going to be fine. So yeah, we'll get to the next step, okay? And show you how it's done. Okay, there we go. Onions are in, they're nice and cooking. Okay, you can smell it, it smells really good. So now just wait, okay? Wait until they get a bit translucent. Okay, that's just the way we call it, translucent onions. But just so they cooked a little bit more, okay? Once they get cooked a little bit more, and that's the same thing if you worked for a garlic and obviously you know what to do. You just wait until they cooked a bit more and then we're gonna throw in the pasta sauce and go to the next step from there. Now something else you can add is you can add more, you know, Italian herbs or, you know, oregano, things like that. You can add extra stuff like that to this pasta sauce. Just to add a little bit of extra flavor. Because remember, with food, you want to make sure that it tastes good. At the end of the day, yes, you want to be losing weight or you want to be gaining muscle, whatever it is you're trying to do. But if you're not enjoying the process, if you're not enjoying your food, for one, what's the point? Because food, you know, there's so much more to food than fuel, in my opinion. But also, you're more likely to sustain your diet if you are following something that you can actually enjoy. Okay? Things don't have to be bland. Okay? Customize it however way you want. Okay? That's the main thing when it comes to food. Let that cook a little bit more. Go. And I have actually decided, I've convinced myself through talking to you guys, that I'm gonna be using some oregano, okay? I feel like some extra Italian flavor, okay? So I'm gonna go with some oregano here. So these onions are pretty much ready, okay, they're starting to brown a bit, they start to go transparent, translucent, whatever you want to call it. So the next step is very, very simple, we just get some of that pasta sauce. And just throw that in there, okay. As simple as that. Oh, is there some of the lid? Yeah, grab some of that. stir that through. Now there's different ways of doing this. You can either leave this on a simmer for a bit longer, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever you want, until it gets a bit thicker. But to be honest, the pasta sauce uh, that I've chosen is actually to the thickness that I don't mind either way. So what I'm gonna do is just go let this heat through a little bit more, and then we're gonna chuck in the, the legumes and the oregano leaves, okay? So just wait until this heats through a little bit more. And then we'll put that on, and then we'll start simmering it for another 10 minutes or so. Stir it through. This kitchen is smelling lovely at the moment, okay? Don't know about you, but every time I cook, because I, I, there's always, I feel there's two types of people. There's those that when they, you know, they're cooking, and they don't feel like eating afterwards. For me, while I'm cooking, I get hungry and hungry until I can't wait until I'm eating. Okay, I'm just like that. Okay, let's so just wait for that a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to bubble a bit, starting to heat through. And that's when we get to our final steps, okay? So we just chuck in the legumes. Now, how much of this to use? Honestly, the seasonings, it's always personal preference. But I like my flavoring, so I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with that a little bit more. We'll go about that much, okay? And then we we'll just mix it through. Okay, so it's really looking good, and to be honest, 
technically, once this is heated through, it's done, technically, okay? Because the beans, the tin beans are already cooked. You can eat them just like as the tin, at, out of the tin, sorry, um, just like normally. And obviously this pasta sauce is cooked and everything. So you could eat it that way. But I like to simmer it for at least five to 10 minutes just to make it a bit more of a nicer consistency and just to cook the beans just a little bit more. And no, in that 10 minutes or so, they're not gonna go mushy or anything like that. Okay, they're gonna still hold their structure, but it's just what I prefer. You can do it virtual way you want to do it, okay? You can just cook it through, make sure it's nice and heated, plate it up and go there. Okay? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, like I said with the kitchen, just do what you need to do. It's all about consistency, okay? It's all about doing things that you enjoy, but still maintaining control over your nutrition, maintaining your calories, your macros, your micronutrient intake, making sure you're eating 80, 20, okay? 80% of the diet should be from things like this, okay? Good quality foods. Okay, not necessarily vegan, I'm saying, I'm just saying things like whole food based. So yeah, we're gonna simmer this up and I'll show you the next step. There we go, get onto the right heat, let's go. Okay, so now while that's cooking up and simmering and getting ready for us to nicely taste test and give you the breakdown, I just wanna hop on here quickly and just say that another aspect of this diet, or this meal, sorry, that's really, really good is that it helps you hit your fiber intake. So I'm a bit advocate of hitting your fiber intake. When I'm working with clients, I always say, you know, still make sure you're hitting your fiber. Don't just worry about calories. Don't just worry about protein and carbs and fats. Worry about the other part of carbohydrates, the fiber. And something like this is gonna give you a big hit of fiber and help you reach your targets, okay? Legumes are perfect for that. So not only is this a macro-friendly food that's also plant-based full of the other kind of nutrients that are in it, it's also full fiber. Okay, and that's a big winner for this for this recipe and why I like to kind of eat it here and there because it helps me hit my fiber intake. So I just wanted to hop in here and say that as well. Okay, so 10 minutes are up. You can simmer it for a bit more, but to be honest, like I said, this pasta sauce is on the thicker side. If you were using something like passata, it would make more sense to simmer it for a bit longer if you want it thicker. But this, in my opinion, is all ready to go. Okay, it smells great. To be honest, it looks kind of pretty good as well. So what we're gonna do now is plate it up. So now what I'm gonna do, so let's just turn the heat off here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plate out an amount that gives you at least 20 grams of protein. Okay, that's how much protein you should be aiming for per meal. And just because this is a vegan kind of meal, doesn't mean you shouldn't be, it doesn't mean you should be skimping out on the protein. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So that's all ready. So what we do now, grab our scale. Okay, trust the scale. And I've actually worked out, so now I understand that you might be coupling this with something else like pasta. Okay, in this sense, I'm assuming you're just gonna be eating it like this, because to be honest, this is great just as it is. You don't need pasta for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out 600 grams, okay? Quite a lot, okay? 600 grams to give you that, that 20 gram, or the 20 gram protein target, okay? So, let's plate this up. Four hundred. Nearly there. Nope, a bit too much. Six hundred, six oh seven, tomato, tomato. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Okay, we'll be fine for that. Okay, so that here, whole bowl full, okay, whole bowl full. 600 grams serving of just, just this. Like I was saying, you can couple with something else in which case it would be smaller amounts and you can eat less of it. Again, it all depends on your individual needs. But this whole bowl right here, 600 grams, that's gonna give you about 20, 21 grams plus a whole bunch of fiber. So let's give it a taste test and actually give you the specific nutrition that this has. Okay, so here we go. All plated up, smells awesome, okay? It smells amazing with all the kind of spices and, and just, yeah, pasta sauce always smells good to me. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna give it a taste test, tell you what I think about it, what I already know, and then I'm gonna tell you the actual breakdown, okay? So let's give it a taste test first. That's so good. So good, it tastes like normal pasta, obviously doesn't have like the meat in it, but to be honest, it doesn't taste bad at all. It actually tastes good, like I said, um, you can taste all the onions, taste all the uh, spices that we used, or herbs, but there were spices in the, in the pasta sauce technically. Now this tastes lovely. 
can't go wrong with that, okay? Literally just eating like that. That's the main way I do it. I don't usually couple it with pasta. Usually when I do pasta, I do a bit of a different one or I myself tend to prefer when I have pasta to have like a meat-based spaghetti bolognese or something like that instead. Just the way I roll. With this, I usually just eat it like this. So honestly, that's the way you can do it. Now, as I said, that whole bowl right there, that was 600 grams. Now you could have gone about 500 grams, 500 grams serve of this recipe will give you just that bare minimum, about 20, 21 grams of protein. But I went to 600 just to kind of go in the middle between 20 and 30, so it gives you about 25. But let's give you the actual breakdown. For a, a bowl that big, so 600 grams, just hypothetically if you were to eat that, for that bowl of 600 grams, it's about 500 calories, okay, 500 calories, 25 grams of protein, 25.5 technically. It's got 59 grams of carbs. So you can see now if you couple it with pasta, your carbs will be super high. Hence why this is just fine by itself because the legumes have the, the carbohydrates in themselves. And it's got about 11.7 or about, it's got 12 grams of fat, which comes from the extra virgin olive oil. So good quality fat as well. Now I will give you an extra one here for the fiber. That whole bowl, if you were to eat that whole bowl, you'd be getting 24 grams of fiber roughly, which is very close to your daily kind of general amount, which is about 28 grams or so. So honestly, with that, and as long as you eat some veggies here and there or some fruit, you're done for the day for fiber. But obviously, as you can see, if you're not used to that much fiber, ease into it. Don't be eating a whole bowl that big because then that can cause some issues. It's not gonna be fun for you. Okay, so that's basically the breakdown. So 500 calories, 25 grams of protein, about 59 or 60 grams of carbs, and about 12 grams of fats. Honestly, pretty good, and you get a good dose of plant-based protein, you get a good dose of micronutrients from the legumes, and it just tastes good, okay? So it's good to kind of mix it up and keep a variety going. So now what you wanna do is you wanna make this yourself, okay? I'm sure you do, hopefully. You wanna make this yourself and post your creations if you want, kind of post them on Instagram or Facebook and tag me at The Climate Dietitian so I can see your creations. And let me know what you thought about this recipe in the comments below, okay? Comment below and tell me, did you enjoy today's recipe, okay? This is to your vibe. Do you wanna see maybe more vegan-based uh, recipes or something like that? And again, as always, subscribe if you haven't done so, okay? So you can stay in the loop and learn whenever I release a new video. And yeah, hit the like button, okay? Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Stay classy. See ya.